What's up guys, today we're going to be unboxing the HTC U12 Plus. I'm so really excited, one of my first flagships I've had on the channel. We deal with a lot of budget devices, so I want to sort of get out of that and sort of do some more premium stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is HTC's flagship smartphone. And it's got a pretty nice little box here. Try to get this open without tearing up the box. Alright, so let's go ahead and check it out. Go ahead and take the phone out. So we got cables, charging cables. We got your wall plug. Let's see what else we got. And they throw in a little case. That's cool. It's a clear case. That's pretty nice. We have the SIM card eject tool. That's pretty much it. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this guy out and see if we can get it powered on. Come on. So that's really nice hardware. Unfortunately, it's not see-through like on the blue edition. Can't really see through it. Let's see if we can power it up. And this does not have any real buttons. That's really weird. So we do have volume rockers over here, no headphone jack. That's unfortunate. Dual cameras on the back, we have the fingerprint sensor. Alright guys, we're all booted up and this was actually the headphones. I thought that was a, just an adapter to the headphones. Actually a headphone, so we'll go ahead and test that out. So, should be pretty interesting to see if they sound decent. Go ahead and log in. So guys, I signed into my Gmail. So this pops up if you want to sync with HTC. Uh, we're just going to not use it for right now. So, uh, this is pretty interesting. The edge and volume control. So, it's like not a real button, I mean, it feels really weird. It's got like a haptic feedback sort of thing. So, edge senses fast, new way, intuitively interact with your smartphone, make life easier. So these are gestures that we can do. So let's go ahead and see. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Test my squeeze force. So that's pretty cool. So the setup process isn't too bad. Um, don't want these apps. So the screen is really nice and the hardware is definitely uh, as you see this thing gets a lot of fingerprints. It's definitely a premium device. So 
So I can apply the squeeze gesture to open up stuff. So let's go ahead and snap a photo of something. See how good the camera is. And of course I have to test it out more. But the camera looks really, 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 really nice, guys. Like, wow, that's a lot of detail. Like, that looks, that's amazing. So guys, let's go ahead and check out how fast this guy is. And it's pretty snappy with this Snapdragon processor. We got link feed on here which I really prefer Google now but that's okay and there's not a lot of applications not a lot of bloatware on here uh, which is really nice which you would expect from almost a thousand dollar phone so let's go ahead and check out the settings edge sense you have HEC boom sound, which I have to test out more. So everything seems pretty standard here. It says we even have an update ready. Let's see what that is for the launcher. So, guys, let's go ahead and test out the boom sound speakers real quick. I got a video fired up. You can definitely feel a little thump in the phone, uh, which is pretty cool. So the speakers are, are pretty good. Uh, it's easy to block the speaker right here. So I'm firing out of this one and over here. But definitely sounds good. Alright guys, that's it. Uh, be sure to subscribe for the full review of this phone. The camera on here is really awesome, I gotta say. That was my first impression of this guy. Uh, display looks really nice, so really excited to test this out. Like I said, be sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next one.